It's Thursday, and on social media, you'll often see the hashtag TBT. Well, we're putting a twist on that and taking you back in time. Photojournalist Todd Gertner is back with today's Throwback Toledo. Hi, everybody. Well, uh, this, this week's Throwback Toledo, I decided to go over to the east side, and right over my right-hand shoulder is called the Weber Black Building. So uh, I, I wanted to kind of come across here and give a little bit of love to the east side of Toledo. So the Weber Block Building, take a look at the pictures that I posted earlier today on the Facebook and Instagram pages. The Weber Block Building was built in 1888 by John and Gustave Weber. It has the uh, Queen Anne kind of architecture uh, style. It's pretty cool. It's a cool building. It's sort of like a visual gateway once you come over the bridge on the Cherry Street Bridge. It kind of, it's just a cool, cool thing to see when you come over here. Over the years, it's been many different stores and businesses. At one point, it was an A&P. At one point, it was a department store. And if you look at the pictures you're looking at right now, the really old picture, it's the super old one, that was taken in 1904. And if you look really closely on the left-hand side of the frame, you can see a horse-drawn wagon, which is super cool. That's, I don't know, that, that shows you, at, that's, that photo is close to 120 years old. You can also see, I think there's like a fruit stand right there on the front street side. And then uh, uh, the power lines above is, is really interesting too. The other photo, the more recent before photo, that was taken in 1975. And it's just cool to see all the different makes and models of the cars. So if we can come back live real quick, I do want to show you something kind of cool. Uh, it's, it's across the street. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move the camera down here. So if you see these buildings on the right-hand side here, right? Wait, yeah. where's, okay, the buildings on the right-hand side. So back in 1929 and 1930, they needed to widen Main Street 75 feet. So they needed to expand it to, to be 75 feet. And because of that, they needed to push back these buildings 15 feet. Hmm. So they actually excavated the basements. Yeah, they excavated the basements and then put the buildings up on rollers and pushed them back 15 feet. Wow. I thought that was kind of cool. I love, so I wanted to show you that. I yeah. love all this history, Todd. Now I have to ask you because I'm sure a lot of people are wondering, okay, you know a lot about this. Yep. You have a lot of the knowledge. Where are these photos coming from? How are you able to dig them up? Great question. So for years I've been using, it's called Images in Time. It's the Images in Time section of the Toledo Lucas County Public Library website. It's amazing. I've been using it for 15 years and over the years I've just seen it grow and they add more photos. If you're slightly interested in history, get on that website. You can search keywords, you can search downtown, uptown, East Toledo. It's just a fountain of knowledge of uh, archive photos. It's, uh, it's great, it's great. Check it out. It's, the, it's called Images in Time, Toledo Lucas County Public Library. Awesome. So then you could be able to do this yourself. You could go around and say, hey, just check out the building. You don't necessarily need to take a yeah. picture, but there, yeah. There you go. Well, guess what? All you have to do is go on our Instagram page. You can follow Todd and his TBT adventure. You can see it there right now. So head over to 13ABC at 13ABC and give us a follow. That is pretty cool. So when you compare the two images and you think, where did that horse-drawn carriage go? You know. It there went you go. way back in time. All right, well, that's going to do it for us here on Action News at 4. Action News at 5 is coming up next.